You say that you are not going to ramp production until you have more visibility. Clearly, visibility uh, is very difficult right now for your business. Guillaume, on what kind of basis are you operating? How much visibility do you actually have? Hi, uh, good morning, uh, Guy. So, uh, indeed, we've just announced our uh, half-year results. And um, we have actually delivered 74 commercial airplanes in the uh, second quarter of 2020. It is significantly less than one we deliver in normal times, but it's slightly ahead of what we were expecting for this uh, very unprecedented uh, situation. In this uh, second quarter of the year, we have completely adapted our production system to what we think is the new environment. And we've reduced, for instance, on the uh, A320 family uh, from a production rate of 60 per month down to 40. We are now adapted to this new situation, and we work very actively with our customers, with the airlines around the world, with the lessors, to understand what is the, uh, the right uh, calibration moving forward. And we think this uh, 40 a month is um, appropriate for us for 2020, for probably the vast majority of 2021, and uh, we are awaiting signals from the airlines and themselves from the uh, from the passenger traffic to understand when uh, things will recover, because we think there will be a recovery, it's very likely, uh, but what is more difficult to assess at the, at the moment is when. So that's where we are today. Uh, we are navigating through a situation with a lot of uncertainty and changes, and uh, we've put ourselves on the front foot again by adapting all the company, by resizing, by adjusting production rates, by adapting the supply chain as well to this new difficult environment. OK, th there was a lot in that, that statement, Guillaume, so let's unpack it a little bit and talk a little about the component parts. Let's talk about deliveries and let's talk about cash. Um, you were not cash flow positive um, going into the crisis. You said today that you are looking to, be, to get the business to a position where it is neutral on cash in terms of the burn uh, as we go through the second half of the year. Deliveries obviously are a key part of that. When you deliver an aeroplane, that improves your cash flow position. How realistic is it to get to a neutral cash flow position given the operating environment that you've just described? Mm. So you made a very good point. The deliveries are critical to the cash flows uh, in our industry, in our business. Um, I see two main elements to responding to your question. The first one is on the cost side. And uh, what we see is that we have managed to adapt um, to the new situation. So we think we have a, the right trajectory moving forward for the second half of 2020. So we see now some certainty on our uh, cost reduction program, on our uh, cash uh, containment, we call it. Uh, and then we have to make assumptions on the delivery. We have, uh, by end of H1, a large number of uh, planes ready to deliver, but ready to deliver, but not delivered actually because of the situation of the airlines and the customer. We are at 145 planes produced, not delivered. It's very high, and we think we will manage to reduce it significantly in the second half of the year. And this will contribute to uh, the balance in cash flow that we are contemplating. Uh, it's an objective because there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we are making good progress on the new delivery plannings, the new delivery schedules, the amendment to the contract we have with our customers, and we're regaining visibility when it comes to the second half of 2020 and 2021. This is what uh, makes us more comfortable that we can share that our objective is to be uh, cash flow neutral before uh, m and customer financing on the second half of 2020. Um, let's talk about the customers then. Uh, you described this morning the situation that you have um, some difficult discussions currently underway and probably ahead as well. What are you saying to customers? What are customers saying to you in terms of their expected deliveries? Are any customers defaulting on their commitments at the moment? And if so, how are you going to extract cash from customers given what's going on? Well, I'm not sure it's about extracting cash from customers, given the situation they're in. It's more about finding um, ways of dealing with the situation together and sort of uh, preserving uh, the vital interest of, uh, of both parties. We have 
to recognize that there is a COVID-19, that there is a big drop in the uh, passenger traffic. And therefore, we are working with our airlines and lessors to find the most appropriate way to deal with that situation. So it's a case-by-case -case, uh, discussion, negotiation. Each customer has a different situation. Sometimes it's a changing situation. They manage to find ways to uh, get financing, to regain visibility uh, in, the, uh, in the pandemic, in the crisis. And this is when we can clinch new agreements and regain visibility as well for ourselves. We are a long-term industry. We have products which have a long lead time, long cycles, as we say. And therefore, it's very important to regain some visibility, to be able to plan our production, to uh, plan our cash flows, to uh, distribute the work to the suppliers and give them as well some stability. And this is what we have managed to obtain in the second quarter. And that's why we have a better visibility moving forward. We hope that the recovery of the passenger traffic yep. will be more or less as expected. And would it be the case, we think it's very likely our airlines will stick to the new agreements we've had with them. OK, let's just deal with the production. Um, you've cut the 350 rate, the wide body rate, from six down to five. You've talked in the past about kind of having potentially to resize the business to perilously low levels. How much further can you shrink production? Are we getting to the limits of your ability to reduce the run rate, particularly on the wide bodies? OK, I missed the end of your question. Uh, the connection is not very good, but I think I get the substance. Uh, basically, um, we have resized the production. We went from rate 40 down to, uh, sorry, from rate 60 down to rate 40 on the single line. That's behind us. We are now adapted to these new production rates. On the 350, we had come from 9.5 planes a month down to six in the early days of the, of the pandemic, um, early April. We have now decided to go from six to five, and we think this is uh, the best production rate that fits with demand uh, for the next uh, couple of months, for the next few months ahead of us. We are ready to further adapt, and I think what we have proven with this uh, unexpected situation is that uh, it takes us less than a quarter to very significantly adapt production when it comes to going down. Now I have to share with you that we are as well looking at uh, the end of 2021, 2022, when we think there will be a, a ramp up of production again and where the demand for new airplanes will, uh, will pick up again. And we want to have flexibility as well moving up because the traffic will recover, the demand for airplanes will come back and we need as well to be ready for that. So we need to be very realistic on the short term but not be too pessimistic for the long term. Uh, this industry has a bright future and we need to be prepared to uh, serve the demand when it comes back.